What would you do with a million dollars? Probably start my own business, you know? Maybe go after some felons or convicts, you know? Be a bounty hunter, skip trace or something like that. This robbery took place. Uh, at the time, it was one of the largest robberies, if not the largest robbery. Um, and I think they knew it was an inside job. I think the FBI, it, it was just, and I think the big test was they just weren't supposed to spend any money for a while. They're just supposed to sit on that money and not spend money. So when you sort of see how the that first little move of maybe I can get just a little bit of that or and just how what a slippery slope that is in terms of spending money when when you're being watched when uh again all you have to do is not do anything and just go about your normal life knowing you're being scrutinized <laughs> The cast are all, uh, as I said, people I think are working who are just, uh, just have it now, or kind of at the top of their game. And you look at Zach, or uh, and I've worked with Zach a few times on SNL as well. Kristen, obviously, um, I'd never worked with Owen before, but you know, how could you not love Owen Wilson? And uh, he's sort of been in, you know. Uh, four or five of the best comedies of the last 25 years. Um, Jason uh, is trying something new in this movie and I think is just perfect in his part. Kate, who just, you know, is beginning to emerge on SNL and, and uh, is just brilliant. And so uh, Jared wanted her in the... Uh, uh, I think there's Mary Elizabeth who everybody loved and is truly funny. And then you have Leslie as an FBI agent. And so there's a lot of, of uh, people who you would not normally see work together, but uh, it's a really strong comedy ensemble. There he is, the man of your dreams. He'll live here with us forever. It's like you're marrying both of us, David, me and Mama. The cast kind of came together magically, and then uh, people like Kate, um, Jared had seen Kate a bunch of times on SNL, and went, I love her, and I went, well, then uh, we could try to see if she'd be, you know, if she'll do that, and then uh, Leslie the same, and gradually Zach, you know, kind of wanted to bring in people that he worked with and trusted, and gradually it just sort of, there wasn't anybody there who wasn't... Uh, a comedy pro. Who y'all want me to kill? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my. Well, no, no, no. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Not now, not in front of. Oh, I see. Is it one of them? Boys, get upstairs right now. Now. He's a great villain uh, and kind of a psychopath in a certain kind of way. Uh, and he does a sort of menace in kind of a jolly uh, tone. So it's like, uh, it, it makes it a li seem a little more crazy. You know, put a cap in there. Ah! Oh, 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 get it out! Okay. okay. Oh, God, Kelly! Okay, you're good. You're all right. Okay. You're okay, but man, you oh. nearly shot yourself a new butthole. Yeah, it went straight down the crack. Yeah, it feels like it just grazed my biscuits right, right the there betwixt them. There's two kinds of, of joys in a comedy film. One, discovering a whole new sensibility and a whole new group of people that you didn't know existed. And uh, those kind of movies come along and uh, you go, oh, this is great. All the, you know, I mean, it can be the first time you saw Owen in Bottle Rocket or uh, I don't want to go through a list of, of movies where people break through. But and then there's the people you like at the top of their game. And I think this is the latter one.